Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast, who discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. We are glad to present you the new Eugene version 1.7. There are a lot of new features and enhancements in it, which we will discuss in this video. The Circular View plugin has been significantly revoked. Let's open a plasmid to see it in a circular view. The first noticeable change is that if we resize the view, it will be zoomed automatically, so we can adjust it to an appropriate size. The annotations names can now appear within the circle, and the scale graduations were changed. Another addition is the sequence cursor, which is drawn at the sequence position you are pointing to with your mouse cursor. The positioning itself became more reliable. A sequence selection is now represented as a dotted line surrounding the annotations. Also, it is possible to rotate the view with the mouse wheel. The Export Context Menu option allows to capture the view image into a file. To show the last circular view feature, I'll open a GeneBank file containing two plasmids. As we can see, the circular view for every sequence were opened automatically at the same area, and we can work with them at the same time, and it's still possible to resize them. There is another interface addition, the Overview. Let's reactivate the sequence view now. The line above the panoramic view is the Overview. Therefore, Overview and Panoramic view are no longer synonyms. The Overview contains the sequence scale. The yellow triangle represents current position of the area displayed in the detailed view. By dragging the triangle, it is possible to navigate among the sequence. It is also possible to activate the annotation's density graph by pressing the button with the sum icon. The darker the graph's area is, the more annotations it has. A remarkable change in Eugene 1.7 is the new powerful command line interface, which is intended to provide you with the possibility of solving every task that is solvable from Eugene Workflow Designer. Now you simply open your console and type Eugene followed by the command name you want to execute. For instance, we will align the input file named koi.aln and place the result into the output file named result.iln. We press Enter. The task is finished and we can open the resulting alignment. To view the list of available commands, you can browse the online manual. New instructions will be added in the future releases, but Eugene provides you a way to create your own commands in 1.7. Basically, you will need to create a workflow designer schema with certain attributes. We will consider it in the future podcast episodes. Another important innovation that we made in the new Eugene is the scripting framework. It allows you to perform various operations with your data and specify the algorithm's behavior. In this release, scripting is available from import annotations from CSV dialog, but in the next version it will become a part of workflow designer providing all new flexible possibilities. Let's open Import Annotations dialog for an opened sequence. We select Import, Import Annotations from CSV menu items and specify the CSV file to read. To access the script, we press Script. The opened dialog box contains the sample script which parses each input line of the CSV file into the resulting array. Such arrays become the resulting table rows, and their elements become table columns. 
Let's change column separator to comma in the script and see what happens. We press preview and see the corresponding changes in the resulting table. Let's change another instruction in the script. For instance, let's assign the line number value increased by 5 to the first column variable. We press preview and see how the first column values were changed.